Will you please stand up? Innocent on all counts, the words Ramush Haradinai was longing to hear. The chamber finds you not guilty on all counts in the indictment. Tried twice for war crimes, found innocent twice. He is now free to return to Kosovo and renew his political career. The reaction in the capital Pristina was immediate and joyful. For these people, Haradinai, former military leader and one-time prime minister, is a national hero, a great hope for the future, and the victim of a politically motivated campaign by the international court's prosecutors. Haradinai was first accused of war crimes in 2005, when he was charged with torturing and murdering Serbian prisoners during Kosovo's War of Independence in the 1990s. He was leader of the Kosovo Liberation Army and an ally of the West, and worked closely with NATO leaders. When the guns fell silent, he quickly swapped military fatigues for the suits of political office, briefly becoming Prime Minister, and for some, Kosovo's great hope, capable of reaching out to the Serb minority. It's a country that we have to build together, it's a life that we have to build together and uh, a country of opportunities and life of opportunities for all of us. Following his first indictment by the court, he surrendered voluntarily. In 2008, he was acquitted, a decision welcomed in his hometown, Pristina, but condemned in the Serbian capital, Belgrade. The prosecution appealed, claiming crucial witnesses had been intimidated. And controversially, the court agreed and quashed the original verdict and called for a retrial. While there was celebration in Pristina, there was grave disappointment in Belgrade. It is not a contribution to peace and stability in the region. We all expected this kind of decision. Serbs accused the court of bias against them and have threatened to pull out of talks about Kosovo's future if Haradinai walks free. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera. Right, let's get the latest now from Stefan Goranovic, who is in the Kosovan capital, Pristina. So, uh, Stefan, tell us a little bit more what the scene is like in Pristina. We can see crowds behind you. Yes, exactly. Uh, it is very passive uh, atmosphere here in Kosovo in general, especially in Pristina. Ever since the verdict uh, was aired here in the large screens all over Pristina and all over Kosovo, people of Kosovo uh, were uh, very happy. Uh, the atmosphere, atmosphere here is very celebratory. It is uh, being prepared as we speak. This big celebration behind me in the main Pristina Square in front of the Kosovo government. Uh, we expect Ramush Haradine to land at Pristina Airport in some 20 minutes from now and 15 minutes after that he will have his per first public appearance in front of the media representatives uh, during uh, the day after that he will be uh, right behind me uh, in the big stage and after that everything is about the state protocol uh, Kosovo government is organizing the big celebration here and uh, as you can see uh, everybody is pretty hectic and really really excited about the fact that he's that their hero will be here uh, in the city center and just probably an hour and a half. So, Stefan, celebrations there in Pristina and in Kosovo likely to continue. Of course, a very different reaction in Serbia. So how do you think that this decision is going to impact the already brittle relations between Kosovo and Serbia? Well, as you said, uh, Kosovo-Serbia relationship is uh, really complicated as it is. Uh, however, it is not expected uh, uh, to shift much after this verdict. Of course, uh, people in Serbia, the government in Serbia is very dissatisfied with the fact that uh, Ramush Karadine was acquitted of all charges in the Hague Tribunal. But, uh, as Serbian Prime Minister Mr. Ivica Dacic uh, said this morning, uh, Belgrade and Serbia will continue uh, its dialogue uh, with uh, Pristina, with Kosovo, uh, because, as he said, it is in the interest of Serbia. However, uh, nothing is going to change uh, on the political side as well because uh, uh, Ramush, Haradine, uh, Ramush Haradine has a political party here and when he, when he comes back, if he comes back to the political scene here, uh, nothing will probably change because stance of his political party is almost the same as the current government. Uh, so uh, we are not uh, witnessing the huge shift and the huge change in the Kosovo-Serbia relationship. Stefan Goranovic, live for us in Pristina in Kosovo. Thank you, Stefan.